Hey guys, uh, like I said the last time, I'm gonna give you some examples how to practice in positions the C major scale. So it's really important again, like we practice the C major scale or any scale, as a matter of fact, on every string, on each string, it gives you different options. Like we played, I don't know, C major scale on the first string. Yeah, so. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to stay in the position to see what are the options. So if I use like a normal backing track, and let's say I will try to stay in this kind of first position. Yeah, and I'll just try staying here, seeing what my options are. Next exercise, I don't know, let's stay in this position. I'm kind of covering this angle, right? Oh, three, oh. So basically what I'm doing is, uh, I try to play melodic, so only with the notes of the C major scale, so kind of to see what are the options that I can explore in every position and try to think melodically, I think that's really important. So if I play, I don't know, next really nice development of the motif would be, for instance, or go on. So don't be afraid of melody. All the greats, you know, from Sonny, Charlie Parker, or Nat Coleman, one of the most, most melodic players ever. Um, it's about the melody. And this way you can really think about the melody. So because we're in one scale, we're just learning how to noodle around with the notes. And and the next aspect, aspect will be even more fun, which is we'll introduce the intervals. And the intervals are that part which really can spice up your motivic and melodic development i think and uh, you know that's the next thing we're gonna explore so have fun enjoy 